Hello, today we're going to be exploring an animation that looks at a chemical reaction. Here's the notebook page we're going to be using for this assignment. To get started, click the word animation. Here's the animation we're using. The notebook page can be found at YourSmarticles.com. Previously, we learned the difference between a physical change and a chemical change. What we're going to be focusing on today is a chemical change, also known as a chemical reaction. When the animation loads, go ahead and click start, then click play. What you're seeing here is a chemical reaction between methane and oxygen. As you watch the animation, pay close note to what the atoms in the animation are doing. Also, make sure to read the descriptions on the top of the page as the reaction takes place. You may need to watch the animation a few times. What you're going to do in your notebook page is you're going to complete this note and notice section and write three statements about what you're observing in the animation. When you're done with the note and notice section, move down to the wonder section and write down something that you wonder or are still thinking about after you've viewed the animation. Now that we've observed and thought about what those atoms are doing, we're gonna look more closely at that chemical reaction and the atoms in the chemical reaction. Our directions tell us to look at the chemical reaction in two parts. We're gonna look at the left-hand side and call it the before side, and we're gonna count the number of atoms in that section. So if you look right here, you can see that we have one C, which is carbon. And in my chart, I'm gonna type a one because there's one carbon in the beginning of this chemical reaction. Now I'm going to look at the after side of the reaction. And I can see that there is also one C in this after side of the reaction. So I'm gonna type that in my chart as well. After this, you want to continue looking at each atom in the before and the after columns and then record them in the chart. One thing to keep in mind as you're counting the number of atoms are the coefficients and the subscripts that we see in this chemical equation. When we see two H2O, we have to visualize that we do have two H2O molecules. And when we count the atoms in two H2O molecules, you'll see we have four hydrogens and two oxygens. So how does that work out? Well, we take the coefficient and we multiply it by the subscript. That's where we get the four hydrogens. Then we take that same coefficient and we apply it to the oxygen for a total of four hydrogen and two oxygen. So as you're counting the number of atoms in the before and after sections, don't forget to use the coefficients and subscript numbers. When you're finished with that, we're gonna move down to the bottom of the page and continue our exploration here. This is a matching section. So as you look at each question in the matching section, it says to use the animation to help you find the correct match and draw a line from the question to the correct answer. To draw your line, use the line tool here and just drag to draw a line from the question to the correct answer. If you need help answering the questions, go back to the animation and rewatch it. After you finish your explore, we'll share a little bit more about the law of conservation of matter and exactly what it is that you were seeing.